So in just a few days, we're going to start our first sculpture project, but there is a couple of things that I need you to understand before we can dive into actually getting to create that. The first exercise that we're going to do to understand the human figure is gesture drawings. Uh, gesture drawings have been used for a really long time to help artists understand the human body, the way that it moves, the way we carry our weight, and other things like that. Uh, gesture drawings are defined uh, from the definition as a laying in of the action, form, and pose of a model or figure. If we look at some images, we can kind of better understand what that definition means. So laying in the action, form, and pose of a figure. So the form is just the outline, okay? The action is what they're doing, and the pose is kind of what the, this like frozen moment in time. So generally, a gesture drawing takes anywhere from 10 seconds to five minutes. So these three drawings probably took less than a minute each. The artist was just trying to get a quick understanding of the model, how they were standing, the way that they were carrying their weight, the pose that they were making, okay? These gesture drawings can start to look a lot different depending on the artist that's making them. But there are always quick, fast drawings where the artist is trying to understand something about the pose that's being taken. So if we, there's lots of drawings here on this one page, but if we look at this one, I think they labeled it number five on the side, this artist was trying to understand how this person was holding their weight. I can tell that because there's this really dark line that starts all the way from their shoulder and goes straight down to their foot. So this like curvy line is really dark and stands out because that's what the artist was trying to understand here. Same thing here. You can kind of see there's there's these dark marker lines on the shoulder and that weight gets carried down into the foot. So just saying that these gesture drawings, you can use them for a lot of different things. This artist was just trying to understand that specific thing about the human body. Another way to understand gesture drawings is as building blocks for more complicated drawing to come in the future. So this person can just take a quick Stick figure drawing, these nice curvy lines they make in less than 10 seconds, and then they can start to build off of that um, either in the moment and take up to about five minutes, or later they can capture that image better. So here's another really good example of that. If you're at the park and you're an artist and you see someone running by, you could just take a quick stick drawing that you never thought you'd get asked to draw a stick figure in art, but here we are. So this artist creates a quick stick drawing, um, and then they start to add these different features, these curved lines. Human body is all curvy lines, and start to build on that. And we can see an extreme of that, that concept of building off of gesture drawings uh, in this painting by Edgar Degas. Uh, he was really famous for painting ballerina and ballerina scenes, all sorts of like theater themed kind of things. And if you look at this, you might be asking yourself, you know, well, there's no way that he was able to create this entire painting. There's no way that that lady was able to stand in that perfect spot for that long. Well, you're absolutely right. She definitely wasn't. So what he did instead of having that poor ballerina stand on her tippy toes for that long, is he would create gesture drawings. So in that moment, in just 60 seconds to two minutes, he was able to sketch the basic outline of the figure, understand the way that they were carrying their weight, get the proportions. So proportions is how long their arm is in relation to their body, or their head is like the right size compared to like their chest. Um, all those different things they were able to sketch and get down really quickly so that later you can come back and you can create a complete piece. So the reason that we're going to be using gesture drawings is just to understand the human body, the way that we carry our weight, and some basic proportions. So uh, this was just to get an understanding, get you introduced to gesture drawings as a whole. Now uh, the next video that you're going to watch is me demonstrating kind of what this actually looks like, what it's going to mean for you. Um, so. We'll get to that. Thanks, guys.